In this video, we're going to talk about how to find equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So first of all, what are parallel lines? Parallel lines are two lines that don't intersect. So they look something like this. They run side by side, they're changing at the same rate, and therefore parallel lines have the same slope, okay? And then perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect, but they intersect particularly in a 90 degree angle. So you have two lines that look something like this, they intersect and the, the angle of intersection is a 90 degree angle. And so perpendicular lines, their slopes, the products of their slopes is negative one, which is the same as saying that their slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So for example, if I had a um, slope, if one of the lines was a slope of negative one third, then a line perpendicular to it, so if that's M1, a line perpendicular to negative one third will be the opposite sign, so meaning it wouldn't be negative, it will be positive, and then it'll be the reciprocal of that. So that would be a positive three, because if you take one over three and you flip it, it becomes three over one, which is three. So that's what it means to be opposite reciprocals of each other. So these are parallel and perpendicular lines, and then we're gonna work some problems on how to find equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's look at some examples. For example one, we wanna determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Um, and so these are the two equations of the lines, and in order to determine that, we need to know the slopes of the line. So we're gonna take each line separately and find the slope of it. And so remember we can find the slope if we could put it in y-intercept form, which is y equal mx plus b. So that just basically means we wanna take each equation of a line and isolate the y. So for this one, if I want to isolate the y, I need to get rid of the 2x, and I will do that by subtracting 2x from both sides, and that gives me 3y equal, since I want to put it in mx plus b form, I'm going to write the x part first, so negative 2x plus 7, and then I need to get rid of the 3, since that says 3 times y, I'm going to get rid of it by dividing 3, and I'm going to divide everything by 3. And so that leaves me with y equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds. I now have the equation of that line in slope intercept form. That's y equal mx plus b. The slope is always the number in front of the x. So for this equation, the slope is negative 2 thirds. Alrighty, now we're going to take the same, we're going to do the same thing with the second equation. We're going to isolate the y. And so actually what I'm going to do is move the 2 over here. And you get 4x minus 2 equal to negative 6y. So it looks backwards because the y is on the right side, but you can this is you can do this. Um, you can put the y on either side, and if it's confusing to you, then just switch the side of the equal sign that they're written on. Divide everything by negative 6. And you get negative 4 over 6x. Two negatives make a positive, plus 2 over 6 equal y. Both of these numbers can be reduced. Two go into both of these. Two go into four two times. Two go into six three times. Two go into both of these. Two go into two one time and go into six three times. So you get y is equal to negative two third x plus one third. The slope is the number in front of the x. So your slope is negative two thirds. So now this has a slope of negative two thirds and this has a negative slope, a slope of negative two thirds. Since the slopes are the same, that means these two lines are parallel. So these are parallel lines. For example, two, we want to find the equation of a line that's parallel that passes through the point negative three, two, and that's parallel to the line x plus three y equals six. Okay? So it's going to be parallel to the line x plus three y equals six. And so we have a point and we need a slope. And so in order to find the slope, we have to find the slope of the line x plus 3y equal to 6. <clears throat> and in order to find the slope of that line, we have to isolate the y. So subtract x from both sides. You get 3y equal to negative x plus 6. Then divide by the 3. You get y is equal to, that's the same as saying negative 1 third x plus 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. What is the slope of this line? The slope of this line is negative 1 third. Well, since I'm looking for a line that's parallel to this line, and parallel lines have the same slope, then I want to use this same exact slope for the equation that I'm looking for. 
So I'm going to use a slope of negative one third, and then I'm going to use the point that is passing through, which is negative three two. And so now I have a point and a slope, and I can use the point slope form of the equation of a line. So my y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. This is my x1, y1. So now just plug it in. y minus 2 equal to negative 1 third times x minus a negative 3. And I want to get the equation in slope-intercept form, so I want to isolate the y. So this is y minus 2 equal to negative 1 third. These two negatives become a positive. So I need to distribute this negative one third in order to get rid of the parentheses. So that becomes negative one third x minus one third times three is one. And now I need to add two to both sides in order to isolate the y. So y is equal to negative one third x. Negative one plus two is one. And so that will be the final equation. That is the equation of the line is parallel to the original line they gave us, x plus 3, y equals 6, and that passes through the point they gave us, negative 3, 2. For example 3, we want to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to x minus 2, y equals 7, and that passes through the point 5, 4. So again, we have a point, and we need a slope, and so in order to find the slope, we have to find the slope of this line first, x minus 2, y equals 7. We'll find the slope by isolating y, so subtract x from both sides, you get a negative 2y equal negative x plus 7. Get rid of the negative 2 by dividing everything by negative 2. You get y is equal to 2 negatives make a positive, 1 half x. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. So 1 half x minus 7 halves. The slope is always the number in front of the x. So the slope of this line is 1 half. Well, we're looking for the equation of a line that's perpendicular to this line. So remember, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So that means the sign is going to be opposite. So I'm looking for a line with the slope that's negative, and then it's going to be the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2. So this is the slope that I'm going to use, and the point given was the point 5, comma 4. And so this will be my x1, y1. I have a point in the slope, so now I can use the point slope form, which is y minus y1 equal m times x minus x1. So just plug it in. That's y minus 4 equal to negative 2 times x minus 5. Distribute the negative 2. That gives me negative 2x plus 10. Isolate the y. So add 4 to both sides. And that gives me y equal to negative 2x plus 14. So that is the y-intercept or slope-intercept form of the equation of the line that's perpendicular to x minus 2y equals 7, and that passes through the point 5, comma 4. Now, for some reason, if it asks you to write the equation in standard form, recall that standard form was ax plus by equals c. That just means you need to put your x's and y's on the same side. So if I had to write this in standard form, I would just move the 2x to the other side with the y by adding 2x to both sides. And that would give me 2x plus y equal to 14. So that there is the standard form of the equation of a line. So standard form just means you want to put your x's and y's on the same side. Okay, now you take a moment to try this one. Find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to x minus 5y equal 1, and that passes through the point 6, negative 4. So pause the TV for a moment, pause the video for a moment, and see if you can work this one. Okay, so in order to find the equation of the line, you first need a slope. And so you got to find the slope of this line, and you'll find that by isolating the y. So subtract x from both sides, you get negative 5y equal negative x plus 1. Then divide everything by negative 5. You get y is equal to 2 negatives become positive, a positive 1 fifth x. Positive and a negative becomes negative, so minus 1 fifth. The slope of this line is 1 over 5. But we're looking for the equation of a line perpendicular to that line. And perpendicular slopes have opposite reciprocal slopes. So we're looking for the slope that's going to be the opposite sign of this, which is going to be negative, and the reciprocal of 1 over 5, which is going to be 5. So now you have a point, 
and a slope. This is the point that they gave you. And so you're going to use the, those values to plug into your point slope formula. So remember, this is your x1, y1. So y1 is negative 4. Your m is negative 5. And your x1 is 6. Minus a negative becomes a positive. Distribute your negative 5 to get rid of the parentheses. That's negative 5x plus 30. And then subtract 4 from both sides. And you get y is equal to negative 5x plus 26. And so that is your equation in slope intercept form. Hopefully you got that right. If not, go back and check your steps. If you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos, we still have a whole lot of more algebra content to cover for this course. So if you want to see more of it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So thanks for tuning in.